Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to make this nice project where we can add an animation to our recorded videos and add some popping up uh, pictures or text uh, and moving uh, inside our videos that we had captured. Uh, without any further, uh, I had made this uh, file which is 1000 by 1000 in which I am going to embed my file so I'll uh, get benefit from the Photoshop a transformation uh, that it will transform the size of my file uh, to be within uh, this frame and then I'm going to trim it after that. Uh, otherwise if I embed the complete uh, video as it is it will be of a bigger size and then I need to change its size. It, it's up to your preference. I prefer this method then I am going to embed. Okay. That's my video. Enter. Okay, then I will delete the background layer. After deleting the background layer, I'm going to image, trim. I'm trimming the transparent pixels from all directions. Okay, now I'm having my size is okay. After that, I'm going to uh, duplicate this layer. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to add uh, some text. You can click on text from here or you can just simply press T. Okay. You can add your text anywhere and then you, we can are going to adjust it. Before adding our text, we are going uh, to, to see how uh, to make masking for parts of our image. So we can, the text will be appearing between the two videos while they are playing and they are coincident exactly with each other. I'm going to uh, make invisible the lower layer which I'm going not to touch it. I make, I'm sure that I'm on the correct layer which is the top one. You have many options uh, for masking part of these uh, layers. Either we go to add a mask from here and while I'm on the mask I make sure that I'm having the black color from here as the top and I select uh, my brush and then I start deleting some parts from my image. If I don't like to delete it completely I will be I'll change the opacity. Okay and you can see here it's not changing the, the opacity completely. Uh, if I return the back layer you can see that the video appears as nothing changed because the two layers of the videos are coincident with each other. Uh, that's one way I'm not going to make it this way today. So I am controlled that I am uh, removing what I had made. I'll make a different way today. I will go to layer, layer style, blend options. And then from the blend options, so I bring this one here a little bit. I will cancel this. I just I need to expand it for you to, so you can see it better. Okay. And then layer, layer style. Blending options. Okay. When you are in the blending options, you go to the bottom, make sure that blend if gray, and this layer, which is the layer we are on, and I'm going to move the black from this layer to a certain percentage. You can see now it's giving only the water, the falling water. You can go down as much as you like. Okay, so I'll stop at this value for example. Maybe you like a little bit more water, so I'll go back like this. Okay, and then hit OK. After that, I'm going to add uh, my text. So, as we said, we can just press T. Your text is marked. I'll add my text here. Okay, symbol. Ways. Control Enter. Uh, you can select the color and the uh, effects. We had previous videos on this. I'll be linking it. You'll find it in the information above and I'll be linking it in the description below and you'll find it link it in our blog post for the detailed description of this video. So I added now uh, my my text. Uh, you can change the color. You can give it this orange color for example. Okay, you can add some effects to it and so on. And this font I had downloaded from uh, Photoshop CC it's free one. Now I have my I will bring my text between the two layers. 
Okay, now you can see it's not appearing here. Okay, because it is behind uh, this layer. Okay, if you dim, if you make it invisible, this layer, you can find that this one is only here. I make V and I'll bring it completely to the bottom here as its initial position. After that, I'll uh, go to Windows Timeline. Okay, I'll decrease the view a little bit so I can see the complete view. Okay, and I will turn again my images and then I will create a video timeline. Uh, the key player in the video timeline is uh, uh, text. You can see that text by default is added to 5 seconds while uh, the other text, uh, the other videos are added uh, as complete uh, size. So I will be trimming them back. So all of them is uh, as long as only the text which is the 5 seconds it's enough. If you are making GIF, if you like to make a complete uh, lens file, it depends on your preference because maybe you can be playing it as a movie, not confirming, uh, converting it as uh, a GIF at the end. Okay, so as I told you again, the, my key player is the uh, text. I'm going to expand it from here. Okay. Okay, as we said, that uh, key player will be our text layer. So in the text layer, while it is in this position, I'll mark here on transform. So it marks this as an initial position. Then I need I move the uh, pointer for the frames till the end. While it is at the end, I'll move my text where I need to stop it. For example, this position is good for me. Okay. As I told you, all this black we can we will add be adding a mask layer to the top video. Then we can remove all this. Okay, now it's added automatically uh, the end uh, position. Supposedly that uh, you need to add uh, some styling, uh, also like glow or something like that, to the text you are bringing. So while it is in this position, I'll mark this time the style. So this style will be marked as it is now uh, in this position. Then I drag my video pointer to the end again. And I'll add some styling from here. For example, I need to add some outer glow. Okay, you can keep it white. You can uh, change the color of the glow uh, from here. For example, if you can, you can come maybe you like some uh, yellowish glow. Okay, and uh, you can expand it. Uh, you can retract it. Uh, you can change its opacity. You can see here if you if it's, you make this opacity too much dark, it's like this. You can make it less opacity. It's all these are some tools uh, for you. Then I'll make OK. And as I told you, in the final position, you have some uh, here. The, the text is not completely appearing because this layer on the top of it, uh, still some of the shadows are coming. So I'm going to click on it. Then from here, you can see this icon. I'll, be, I'll add a mask. As we explained in previous videos, to add a mask, the mask is in white color. So it reveals completely what is behind it. To uh, make it hide some uh, of the area, you need to paint it in black. So I make sure that the, my front color is black. Then I will select the paint brush and I'll use it over the area in my text. Here I'm having the opacity 30%. If you need to make it quickly and you remove it completely, so make the opacity 200%. So like this. Now you can see that your text is appearing completely. And it's at its final position. Okay. Now, if I turn back to my timeline and play, the first play you will find it moving uh, slowly because it is rendering the the frames. After that, the next run you will find it moving uh, quickly. Now you can see that your text is appearing. This is not the actual time because the complete time of the uh, GIF is five seconds, or the video you are making is five seconds, but it is rendering now. Of course, you can add some shadows. You can add, you can change the color of the uh, of your video uh, of your text as you like. You can see that wh while you are going up, uh, also the here the the style is growing. The 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 glow is is increasing as it goes till it reaches uh, the end keyframe. That's uh, Algorithms from Adobe, uh, you had a, an in, uh, initial keyframe and end keyframe, and 
uh, that's what is the rendering means. It uh, generates the internal keyframes in proportion between the original and the end one. But now we can see that our video is ending uh, directly uh, and playing again. So maybe I need to freeze the last uh, frame for some time. So to freeze the last frame for some time, I'm going to uh, my text layer, for example. That's the one I need to freeze it. I need to freeze it, for example, for uh, two seconds. I'll extend it to till seven. You can see here. Roughly, okay, uh, and then I will go till the end, and I will add another keyframe here for the uh, position and another keyframe for the style, so it will keep its styles and uh, end with the in, in this end part. But why it is transparent now in the background because the other video timelines are ending at five seconds, so I extend them so they are all. This is my top one. You can see this. This is the area that we cleared at the end. And I'll extend this one. Okay. Now that we play our video, it will be rendering again. You can see how our text is coming between the water. You can consider, and the water is a, as if the water is flowing on it. You can see that this uh, is a professional artistic looking. You can make it, and you can generate great gifs from simple videos that you had uh, captured using your mobile or using your camera. As I told you, I'm changing the size, decreasing the size because. Uh, I'm going to convert it to GIF uh, at the end. If you like to keep it as a video, you can keep the size uh, as the full size of your video. You can see when it goes to the end, it will stay there for some for some seconds. As starting from here, you can see here. Starting from here, it is stopped at this position. It will hold at this position for some time with the full glowing around it, and it's totally clear now after we cleared this part of the video. Still, it is rendering, so that's why it is uh, slow. You can see the next time running it will be faster, it will be the 7 seconds only. Okay, that's almost now the real speed uh, and performance of your GIF. If you are satisfied uh, with what you have done, you stop and then you go to File, Export, Save for Web. Now, this is uh, CPU extensive usage, so it will be uh, taking some time. Okay, so I'm going to uh, to see the process, but in, in a shortened uh, time, I'll make the video fast, so I'll not be talking during this time. Just simple information: you can see here that this is 1,000. Uh, that's the original size by 560, and the percentage is 100. I'm going to change this percentage to 50 because, like this, the video size is coming around 50 mega. If I change it to 50%, uh, it will be 500 by uh, 200 pixels, and the size will go to, to down to 12 mega. Uh, Okay, so we run fast from here. Okay, now we can see our GIF playing. I hope uh, you had learned a nice trick today. It's going to inspire you in your future project. You will find uh, the final output uh, downloadable on our uh, blog post. The, the link uh, you will find it uh, on the top here, and uh, you will find the description, the link in the, our description. Uh, join our YouTube channel. Join our blog post to, to receive our detailed step-by-step uh, -step tutorials. Uh, activate the bell and. Let me see you in the coming videos. Thank you very much.